Hello and welcome back to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today we have two messages from our Lord to Jennifer. The first is from October 9, 2023. My child, my gentle hand is being extended out upon humanity. My children have been reckless and restless because they have chosen worldliness over eternity. I have come for some time to warn my children that hearts must change. I do not warn in fear, rather in a great act of mercy, which is also love. My children, it is time for humanity to bind your rosaries and seek the guidance and protection of my mother. I point my children to my mother because she will always guide her children back to her son. She will teach you humility. She will teach you patience, and she will guide you to a greater understanding of your Heavenly Father. Come, my children, and do not waste time. It is my desire that you come together with those who desire to pray and form communities that will live in my light. Let your voices be lifted in prayer. You cannot be a light to this dark world if you are remaining hidden. You are called to be the domesticated church, and that begins in your homes. Gather your blessed candles and make preparation by simplifying the clutter and reducing your possessions. Pray to the Holy Spirit to allow you the gifts necessary to discern the times that you are living in. Do not fear. Do not surrender to evil. You have been given all that is necessary through your baptism to conquer the darkness that lingers. You have the greatest armor that all the military in the world does not have. It is by frequenting the sacraments, the recitation of the rosary, that you defeat the enemy. My children, all healing comes through the Eucharist. When you pray, ask for my body and blood to wash over you and heal you. You are receiving the greatest of miracles when you receive me in the Eucharist. Now go forth, for I am Jesus, and be at peace, for my mercy and justice will prevail. This is the second message from our Lord Jesus to Jennifer, October 10th, 2023. My child, the blood of the innocent is covering the whole world, and there is a great ransom to be paid. Woe to those who believe the harming of my little ones is a great victory. Those who believe they are victorious in bloodshed are like the Roman soldiers who put me to death. They believe they were bringing me to justice. Rather, instead, I was bringing them mercy. Even in death, these little ones pray for conversion. The justice comes for the soul who does not recognize sin as sin and fails to repent. My heart weeps, and my wounds continue to bleed. There are many wombs that have become empty graves. I say to those who have had abortions to come to the fountain of my mercy. Seek healing by coming to the Divine Physician. I say to those who have caused this harm to my little ones, it is time to turn away from evil and seek repentance. My child, the world is soon to see the evil that has been unleashed upon my creation, my little ones. The world is on the precipice of change. I have pleaded in love and mercy, for I am Jesus, and my mercy and justice will prevail. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.